Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have here the Gears of War 4 customized Lancer prop replica. And I'm going to be opening it right now. Hopefully it's not crushed inside the box. I'll be highly disappointed. One to one scale. Replica customized Lancer. Game not included. This one's sold through or made by PDP. I don't think I ever bought anything through PDP, but I think they're like a subsidiary or a partner of Mad Cats or something. Let's pop this sucker out of this big box. There we go. Don't mind the guy in the corner, he just likes to watch. Alright. Boom. No picture on the outside, no nothing. Who knows what it looks like. Just these nice little graphics out here. Everything. Alright, how does this open? Looks like you just gotta cut the top. Black tape. It blends in with the black box, huh? Alrighty. Quantity, one per carton. In case you were wondering. It's hard to find the seam when the tape's black. Okay, that went easy. Some B. There we go. Oh boy. It's a big one. Alrighty. Other than the giant shadows I'm casting on this thing. I hope you can see in there pretty well. This looks nice. Nice and tightly packed in here. Good box for moving around. Oh man, I didn't know I was going to have a flip down sight and everything. It's like I guess I'm pretty freaking good shape. Oh buddy. Set this box aside. I had to spill a bunch of water over my computer. Oh, this looks a lot bloodier than I thought it was going to. Let's, let's open the sealed casket. Does that have batteries in it? That one felt long really fast. Like I had batteries in it. Here it is. And it's plastic play, bag of glory, nothing. Alright, let me set all those aside. It does come with a small flashlight. That feels really sturdy. Kind of. It's like super hard, thick plastic. It's like one little LED in there. It's weird, the other Lancer I have is the only other thing I know that takes C batteries. Like the only things I own that take C batteries are Lancers. It's got an orange tip, but that's got to go. Here it is. Skip to the good parts here. You got your customized Lancer. So it's got a regular magazine, doesn't have the big strap that comes over the bottom. It's got the wooden stock, flip up sight. It's a little more worn down than the ones the regular Lancers would be in the game. Just like the one Marcus gives to JD. It does have lights on here, so I will be putting the uh, lights on. This handle feels really flimsy. You can charge it. It's like you can grab the chainsaw. It's pretty cool. Ring! Ring! Like that. That's the noise it makes. And then you can actually stick the flashlight right up here in this holster. I think... Yeah, the magazine actually comes out. So you can see how the magazine has the sled around the chainsaw. Because the way the Lancers are isn't actually freaking functional. There we go. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Alright, so I'll get some batteries in this thing and I'll show you. So here it is. Got batteries in it. It's fully assembled. 
let's show it off. So it's got these uh, flip up side here, not these, this flip up side here. You can actually pull back the charging handle here, as if you were going to rack around in. You can flip this charging handle for the chainsaw, and you pull it back. When you pull it back, I guess it's supposed to start the chainsaw motor, which I guess is housed in here and here. Probably right here because this is where there's like a spindle. It's got the uh, removable magazine. It goes around the uh, chainsaw, as you can see here. It's also got the uh, chainsaw trigger down here. If you can see that. It's got a regular trigger for the firing mechanism. And then the other side, it's got a flashlight that comes on here. And the flashlight turns on. It's got a blue LED on the side. It actually does have light coming out the front here. It's blinding me. It's pretty bright. It's not uh, meant to be used as a real flashlight probably, but you know, it's pretty bright. And then if you switch the safety switch here, push it down, it actually goes on to safety, which is kind of cool. But if you flip this safety switch up, boom! LED lights all down the side. Got blue lights. Both sides match the blue LED on the on the uh, flashlight here. So it's got a lot of moving pieces, a lot of stuff to break, which is probably the only con about it. Is that some of the parts, like the uh, chainsaw charging handle, they feel kind of flimsy, but they sure look good. And being out of this hard plastic material, if you actually had to do repairs on them, um, super glue is going to work wonders. You know, get some Gorilla Glue, slap it back on. I think it's a pretty great addition to the old collection. I also have a uh, gold retro lancer, which I'll show next to it for size comparison. So as you can see here, I've got the retro lancer and the regular lancer, and they're about the same size. They're supposed to be one to one to the in-game scale for the files or whatever. And if you line them up straight just back to back, the barrel of the lancer comes out longer, which is supposed to basically. And the bayonet sticks out a little farther than the chainsaw, which it's supposed to. They both look really awesome. I wish this had the LEDs now that I see it with this. And I wish this had all the moving pieces. But this thing's pretty sweet, too. Only thing, issues I had with this is uh, after I painted it and got it all nice, whatever, I ended up breaking off the uh, front sight. I had to replace that. And this one makes little noises, makes little vibrating noises like you're shooting, but it sounds terrible, so I don't do that. This one doesn't seem, as far as I can tell, pull all the triggers, press all the buttons, do all the little doohickeys. Doesn't seem to make any noises. And I don't think that was advertised, so I'm not sad about that at all. I like the lights better. I like the flashlight. You can actually see it, you know, making a ball of light on the ground. The LEDs look awesome. Flashlight looks awesome. The Lancer looks awesome.